as we are winding down 2022, we get to do the countdowns of what the very best was that we liked in that year. What I'm gonna do today is a little bit different because I normally don't do hair on my videos. I stick with makeup, skincare, that kind of thing. But I have so many questions all the time about my hair that I thought that I would bring you what I use from start to finish, including the tools that I use. And I hope that you do enjoy this. Let's get into it before it gets to be too terribly long. Hey there, girlfriends. I'm so glad that you joined me today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about all hair products for 2022. First, we're gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you what I have on. This is a very beautiful burgundy sweater. You can switch this around to the back or the front. It is a little bit low, so I'm kind of fidgeting with it a little bit today to keep a little bit of modesty. You can wear this around on the back or the front, and I just really think that this is a pretty sweater. Hits you about hip length really do like it. I also have on a set of necklaces that came together that are gold that you can wear singly or together and they are just, they're costume jewelry, but they're really pretty and I really like them. And then I paired them with some really fun gold and rhinestone earrings. I love dangle earrings and this is my jam. So any rings, anything I have on for makeup, clothing, all that will be listed and linked down below along with all of these products. And each of these products will be numbered one through however many we get through today. Go look for the number that corresponds to the product and you'll be able to shop with the links there if you want to. All of the information will be down there and it seems to be a little bit easier for everybody. For everybody. Okay, today I'm not actually doing a hair tutorial. I'm only doing hair products. Watch for the hair tutorial to come in a few videos down the road because I will show you how I do my updos, how I curl my hair and how I blow dry it so that you can get a little bit of an idea of the different styles that I do. But today we're gonna just talk about products. Let's start out with what I use for brushes. Doesn't a girl almost always have a ton of brushes like she has a ton in her purse for lipsticks? I do anyway. Okay, I use a wet brush with my hair. This to me is probably my most important brush. I use this after I've put in my leave-in conditioner just to help distribute everything all the way through. This detangles and it just works so well. It doesn't tug on your hair. Wet brushes I have found are a must for me. I give a new one to my daughter every time I get a new one and now I'm giving them to my granddaughter. So really love this one. This one is called the Tangle Teaser and and this brush I love because it does take care of the tangles. That's not what I use it for though. This is the nicest massage brush. When you're brushing your hair and you brush your scalp, this thing gives you the best massage. And I know that there's been those massage ones that you hold in your hand and they have the silicone on the end of them. And those are great for when you're in the shower or you think you might need them in the shower. I've kind of gotten away from them because they kind of tug on my hair a little bit too harshly. But this one, Oh man, when I just want to sit there and just brush my hair at the end of the day, it gets all of the blood supply up to the hair. I just really feel like this is starting to make my hair very healthy as well. So I do love this brush, Tangle Teaser. And then of course, this is just, I think this is just a Conair brush. This is my everyday brush. And I had some brushes from Goody before, you know, way back in the day. And I had it for like 20 years. They got so gnarly and I finally broke down and bought this one. And I think this is a really great one. It is vintage right down the middle of it. So if you're going to blow dry your hair with this, you do not get too much heat built up. And the other thing that I like about it is that it has a little bit of a round curve on it as well. You can see right there. So I do like that one for an everyday brush. And then this brush right here is a huge bristle brush. It does have the plastic bristles in it as well. It has the vent on the one side. This one is a wet brush as well, but I like this one so much because it is big enough that my hair does not get tangled in it when I'm blowing my hair dry. So I love all of those brushes. Definitely wanted to show you all of those. Now I want to show you what I've used for hair tools. I use this Panasonic blow dryer. This blow dryer is unique in that the nozzle actually will pop out and then the pointer nozzle right there, this will flip back and forth. I don't want to turn on because it's too loud, but this will flip back and forth and then it will kind of just, you know, blow dry your hair back and forth as if you were just going like this yourself and getting it dry yourself. So it's really cool in that way. It has the ion technology which draws water to the hair, which is awesome because you're going to want to keep as much 
moisture in your hair as you can when you use hot tools anyway it has a cool warm hot on one side and then it has the low and the high setting and then you have your cool shot this is a little bit more expensive but i like to invest a little bit more in these kinds of things because i feel like it's not like makeup where you get to take your makeup off every night and start over and try something new our hair we have to live with it right unless we get it cut off and so we want to try and save as, as much of it as we can and so i try to buy tools that are gentle so they sometimes cost a little bit more this is a conair infinity pro brush with the dryer in it it's the combo i love this one because it doesn't get as hot as some of them i've tried dry bar i've tried revlon i've tried a couple of conair other ones and they just don't seem to be as good as this one this one does have three heat settings it has a cool a warm and a hot i usually use it on warm and then you do have a cool shot right here it also has where you can detach it like this and you can purchase other tools to go on the end of it or other heads to go on the end of it this is the biggest one it has a smaller round one it has a comb that you can do on it just for straightening anything like that i love this one i've tried so many of them and this is the one that i finally came up with and this one is not too too expensive like it's definitely not your dyson price i think it's only around 40 or 50 dollars so way better than anything there and then from hot tools this is the curling iron that i've used and you can tell that it is quite old it's still running really good this is my curling iron that does have the clip on it it's not a wand curling iron i like the clip i grew up with it it's what i was used to so it's just easier for me this gets up to i think 420 degrees and you can turn it up and down this does not have an automatic off on it you can't get this one anymore the one that you can get now is white and i do have one of those in a different size but this one and a quarter inch is the one that i use almost every single time that i do my hair now if your hair is shorter than mine you're going to want to get a smaller one if your hair is longer than mine and you just want the beachy waves they have the one and a half inch that's really good those are all white as well but i love this thing i've had it forever it's last a long time it still gets super hot and it does the job just really good so that those are my three favorite tools that i use i don't even ever use a flat iron because i just really never got into knowing how to use it exactly i want to show you what i use for shampoo and conditioner now and we'll go through all the products that i do use in my hair please keep in mind that i do not use all of these products every day except for four and so I'll show you the four that I do use every single day. First of all, I use the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo. I buy it in the big one. I like that this is a clear shampoo because when you do shampoo your hair, if you use something that has a lot of milky consistency to it, sometimes I don't feel like you get your hair as clean. I always suggest that you clean your hair twice or shampoo your hair twice because the first time you're just kind of loosening up all the dirt and all the oils, really concentrate on your scalp. That's what you really want to do. And then you rinse that out. The second time you're going to get a lot more lather because you're going to find that your hair is, your scalp is actually getting clean. There's no more oil. So I always suggest that you do it twice. That's why the directions on the back say repeat. The other thing is I spend more money on my shampoo and my conditioner because I do feel like the ones that you buy at the drugstore, they're, they have a lot of fillers in them. If you want really clean hair that you can go longer in between washings, which is very good for your hair health then you definitely want a salon quality shampoo and conditioner so this is my shampoo that i use and i love it and then the conditioner that i use is that i'm gonna say this wrong but it's um subaki from shiseido and this is just a really heavy thick conditioner and i love it I love the smell of it. It smells so good. I like using a really heavy duty conditioner to put a lot of moisture back in my hair. It's a salon quality one. I feel like investing in your hair is one of those things that you really need to do. It's just so important. However, there is one product that I really do love from the drugstore and that is the L'Oreal L Vive 8 Second Wonder Water. This is hair transforming Lamir rinse water i don't know if that's what it's called or not but anyway you rinse this out after you put it in you put this in your hair and it's almost immediately your hair feels like silk and it doesn't weigh my hair down i love it i feel like it performs like a salon quality so i really do like it now before i shampoo maybe every other week maybe once a week probably more like every other week i will go in with the color well wow. this is the dream filter this is a hard water or hard mineral remover 
for your hair. So you know how if you live in an area that you have really hard water, I have terrible hard water that I have to use lime away or something like that on my surfaces, my, you know, my kitchen sink around the faucet, that stuff that gets around there, that um, calcium lime and all of that, that builds up, that builds up in our hair too. So I use this occasionally to really kind of just take all of that junk out of my hair. You can get a lot out of it with using the two shampoo method, but I find that once I do this occasionally, for a good solid two weeks, maybe even closer to a month, my hair feels like silk and it just stays so much cleaner so much longer. So I really do love this one too. Recently, I've been talking about using a hair growth serum or something to put on your hair. And this is DS Laboratories and this one is the Spectral DNC densifying hair therapy for men and women it has a nozzle on it i go right in and i go around the area right here around my hair because that's where i was losing so much hair but when i started using this i was all of a sudden noticing that my hair was like it felt like i had hair growing out in different lengths well what it was is my hair was actually growing back and i had all these little sprouts you can even tell that on my side right here it's pretty short this is new hair growth for me it's really amazing to me that my hair is growing back and I believe that it is all due to this product and massaging my scalp with this product because I will use these in conjunction with each other. What I do is I use this the night before I'm going to shampoo. So at this point, I'm only using this every third or fourth day. When I first got it and it says on the bottle that you're supposed to use it morning and night, this is a really great product. I do feel like it's working really, really well for me, um, but it's not inexpensive either. Again, I invest in my hair. I love taking care of my hair. It's one of those things that's so very important to me. All right, when you get out of the shower, after you've done all of those things, you need to use a leave-in conditioner. It's so important because you've put all of this moisture into your hair with really good conditioners, but now you're just gonna let it air dry and all of that moisture is just gonna wick away and you don't wanna do that. So I have forever, this is my forever friend right here, a long time it's a 10 miracle miracle leave in plus keratin i have been using this way way before i was an influencer probably five ten years before i was an influencer and i i love this stuff i do like four or five squirts on my hand rub it together and then i work it through my hair and then i will take my wet brush and then i will make sure it's completely distributed all through my hair such a good leave-in conditioner. Now it says it does like 10 things. I don't, you know, it's not a heat protectant. It's not gonna give you enough heat protection. It's not gonna give you enough of a shine. You know, you're gonna get the shine from your hair being healthy and from it being clean. So, you know, a lot of these things that it claims, I feel like, yeah, it makes those claims because they wanna really suck people in as much as they can. But for me, as a leave-in conditioner hold in the moisture into my hair that's what this one does and that's what i love it for if you're somebody that has color treated hair like i do and you go blonde a lot of times the blonde can look brassy well years ago i discovered and if you've been with me since the beginning of my channel this has been recommended by me since the beginning of my channel pravana the perfect blonde purple toning mask this is not your average purple tone this is an uber purple tone look at that look at how much purple is in there this is a really true treatment this is thick and it has a ton of purple in it we're not messing around when we put this pravana on our hair i put this on after i've done my conditioner and i'm just sitting there in the shower well rinse my conditioner out and i'm just sitting there shaving my legs you know doing whatever else i need to do and this goes on and it tones my hair and i get the most pretty tone to my hair and i have a lot of you ask what i do for color I have no idea what my stylist puts in for color. She does her thing, but I keep it from being brassy by using this purple toning mask. It's not that expensive and it's totally worth it. About a year ago, I got sold on the Color Wow Dream Coat. This is something that I didn't think I needed. I thought that this was for people that had really curly hair that liked to straighten their hair or they had coarse hair or they had very frizzy hair and I don't have any of those. So I thought that this wasn't for me, but I tried it because of all of the hype that surrounded it. And I found out that this is a beautiful blow dry treatment. So this is activated by the heat that you use on your hair when you are blowing your hair dry. And it really does help not only keep 
your hair from getting frizzy and all of that, but it makes your hair so soft and shiny and it really is a dream coat. It just makes your hair look dreamy and beautiful. It, there's no other way for me to put it other than I really was shocked at how pretty my hair looked after this. Now, these products don't change for me. These are products that I've used for years. I can't even look at any of these and say that I haven't been using them for over a year. I don't bring you hair tutorials ever. I don't bring you hair products where I'm saying, this is the latest and greatest. I'm bringing you ones that I know work specifically for me and they are that good. And this one is worth every penny. Now what I do is I will pull my hair up and then I'll section it and I will spray four or five uh, pumps into my hair and then I'll go ahead and I will you know really coat that area or one little area and then again wet brush to get it all the way through all of the hair and then after I blow dry my hair my hair is soft that softness lasts a long time that frizz is not there yeah, this has been a big old huge thumbs up for me ever since I got it. I also want to talk to you if you are somebody that does curl your hair. I showed you my curling tools. This is something I've been showing on my channel probably since it started as well. This is a thermal protectant and a hold product for your hair. So if you curl your hair and you don't use a thermal protectant like this, you're going to be sad. <laughs> You're going to be very sad because your hair is going to break off. You're going to get too much heat on it. It's not going to grow the way that it should because you haven't protected it enough. And I know that these kinds of products from It's a 10 say that they are thermal protectants. They're nothing like this product from Kenra. This is Kenra's number 19 firm hold thermal styling protectant, thermal thermal styling spray. Now, what I will do on this as well, I clip my hair up. When I'm re getting ready to curl it, it's all dry. I will take a section. I will put one, one squirt on there and I hold it quite a ways away. And then after I put that squirt on there, I kind of work it through a little bit with my hand and then I'm going to brush it so that it's all the way brushed through because if you don't brush it, this product is going to feel crunchy and you don't necessarily want your hair to feel crunchy. You want it this just to protect it and give the hold. So once it's dry, you go ahead and you curl it and you're going to be shocked at how much this holds your curl. I am not kidding. This is probably the best product on the market if you live in a state that has a lot of humidity, if you like having curls for days, if you like being able to not have to do your hair the next day, you know, you'll have a little bit softer of a curl instead of such a tighter curl. This is it. This is what you want to use. Now, very last product in today's video is the Kenra Volume Spray 25 been using this for probably 25 years. My sister introduced this to me when I was really young. She told me it was the best stuff she'd ever used, and she's right. It's super hold, voluminous hairspray without feeling crunchy. You can still brush through this. You can still have somebody touch your hair, and you're not gonna feel like you have the Aquanet on that we used to use when we were in school. This just holds your hair so good, and I cannot say enough good about it. This is so much better than any other hairspray that I've ever tried. All right, I know I talked really fast. I always talk really fast in my videos. You guys know this. I think that you maybe should love me for it. I, I like to be no nonsense in my videos and I like to be able to bring you everything in a video so that I don't drag it out. It's concise. And if you have questions, you get to ask those questions down below if I haven't covered something that you need to know about. Again, watch for the video coming up very soon where I show you how I blow dry my hair and then I'll show you how I curl it and then I'll show you how I put it up. That's going to be coming fairly soon. Hopefully that won't take forever, but we will get through that one too. Thanks so much for watching today and thank you for watching the roundups that are coming of everything in the 2022 year. I love you guys so much. I hope that you're having a wonderful season. Take care of yourselves and we'll come back together very soon. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you.